everyone in this video we'll talk about how to declare an array how to initialize an array what are the size mechanism behind that we'll talk about everything in this video let's start as you can see in my screen that number of blocks are written over there so this is an array array contains group of elements so whenever we are trying to initialize or declare an array in array the elements lies from 0 to n minus 1 so why i am talking about 0 to n minus 1 in the first block we have 9 that is 0 so in array the indexing starts with 0 so in the 0th position we have 9, in the 1st position we have 19, in the 2nd position we have 29, in the 3rd position we have 39, 49, 59, 69 and 79. So the size of the array is 8. So we can denote the size as n. So we can write that n equals to 8. So this is the size of the array and the indexes start with 0. So the first index is 0, the second index is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 so the last index of the array will be n minus 1 so what is the value of n over here that is 8 so n minus 1 will be 7 so in the seventh position we have 79 the first index is 0 and the last index is 7 the value of n is 8 8 minus 1 equals to 7 so this is the mechanism of the array indexing now we'll talk about how to declare an array so whenever you are trying to declare an array you have to mention the size because our array is a static memory so once you declare that you can't deallocate that memory i'm not talking about malloc alloc that's a different thing but whenever you are trying to declare an array like this int error 5 you can't deallocate that so this is the first rule of array you can't deallocate the memory so whenever you we are trying to declare an array at first what do you have to do you have to declare a data type so the data type of this array is int now what do you have to do you have to give the name it could be error it could be array it could be str it could be anything then what do you have to do you have to mention the size so this is the size of the array the first thing is you have to declare the data type the second thing is you have to put the name the last thing is you have to put the size so this is how you can declare an array now we'll talk about that how to declare and initialize and add it together so what i have written over here that is int this is the data type then this is the name and this is the size now we have one two three four five let's say that we are allocating our array like this like zero one two three the last index will be four so why i'm saying four the size of the array is five so the last index will be 5 minus 1 so 4 so 5 is n so the last index of the array will be n minus 1 so i think this portion is clear so when i am writing 1 over here this 1 will come here 2 will come here 3 4 and 5 now in this case we are declaring and initializing the array together so this is the declaration and initialization of the array now we'll talk about that how you can declare and initialize an array explicitly at first what we'll do we'll declare the array then what we'll do we will initialize the array so at first we have to write the main function then what we have to do we have to declare the array let me draw this thing that is uh the, this is the first block zero one two three and four so when I'm writing error 0 equals 200, then this 0 will come here. So the first block will be 100. Now, in the second block, we are also storing 100. So error of 1, so this is the first index. Then in the second index, we have also 100, 100, and 100. So this is how we can declare and initialize an array explicitly. So this is the initialization of an array. At first, what we have done, we have declared the array. Then what we have done, we have initialized the array. As I have discussed earlier that at first we'll discuss about the topic, then we'll go for the algorithm, then we'll go for the pseudocode and write run, and at last we'll compile the code. Now what we'll do, we'll compile the same code. At first we have declared the header file, then we have written the main function, then we have declared an array of size five. Now what we have done, in the zeroth position we have stored 100 so for the best practice we'll put one backslash t over here and backslash n over here so let me copy this thing yeah and and this thing yeah so let me compile this thing uh, 
so we have got the output in the zeroth index we have 100 in the first index we have 200 in the second index we have 300 in the third index we have 400 and in the last index we have 500 so the last index is 4 because the size of array is 5 so the last index will be 5 minus 1 so i hope these portions are clear so in this video we have discussed about that how to declare an array how to initialize an array how to do the things together and what is the science mechanism behind that and we have also done the hands-on in the next video, we'll do the traversal. See you in the next video.